everybody, we are back. My next guest this evening is the star of the very popular show, Providence, which airs Friday nights at 8 on NBC. Please welcome the lovely Melina Kanakaridis. I just touched you without permission. I'm sorry. That's okay. That should be up to you. You're allowed. <laughs> ah. oh. <laughs> you look fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so much. really do. You have said I know I, I don't just don't want this to sound creepy, uh, but uh, your your teeth are very striking. They're very, they're they're beautiful. Thank you. I yeah. use Oral B. <laughs> <laughs> you know that little vibrating toothbrush. You have that this the uh, everyone yes. has. I mean, I've always used just the regular toothbrush, but I know people that have. The, I guess we can say the product Oral B and hope yeah. that we oh, get sorry. sent free stuff. There you go. Um, <laughs> and I always like to point out that the greatest racing car in the world, the Porsche 911. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, who knows what might come tomorrow? An Oral B, yeah. Uh, Those are very safe to use at home, but dangerous on vacation. The Oral B, why is that? Yes, because see, if you pack them in soft leather containers, then when well, this happened to me, the um, the bellhop at the hotel sort of hit it against the wall as he's letting us into the room. My husband and I were on vacation, and it started to vibrate, and it has that precarious kind of shape, you know, through the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Like, this really happened to you? It really happened to me. And of course, the Ohio girl in me is like having to explain to the bellhop. And he's like running down the hall. I'm going, the no, was like, I don't want to no, know. Let me show you. It's not what you think. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. going, it's my toothbrush. All he heard was, let me show you. Yes. <laughs> no, let me show you. <laughs> but why did he run? Yeah. <laughs> That's my husband a... was there too. He's like, Melina, you don't have to explain. <laughs> Just say it's a toothbrush. But what if you had been like, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. I never thought that that could happen. Yes, yeah. it does have little buttons very easily pushed. <laughs> now you're going to have to do an Oral-B commercial to make up for... Do you, you oh, started yeah. out You started out doing commercials, didn't you? Yes, I did. What, what kind of stuff were you... Because I know, you know, so many people, they get to your position finally, and they're doing really great, but they have to start out biting into a cold hamburger for Burger King and going, mmm, better than McDonald's yeah, or something degrading. Yeah, I think would have been happier with biting into a hamburger because I didn't do that. What was your um, first commercial? It was for semi-sid contraceptives. It was, um, it was quite embarrassing, but of course I called my dad and he was, he was so excited. He goes, honey, is it for shampoo, for, you know, makeup? I'm like, no, daddy, daddy, it's for semi-sid. And he's like, what? He goes, you, you have to know about sex for that. And you don't know about sex, you know? And I'm like, but, but yeah, you know, it was quite embarrassing. And, and um, you know, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> well, our, my job is to embarrass and humiliate, right? You've done so well. Hey, now we'll get free semi-sid tomorrow. <laughs> but the copy was Tomorrow the it'll come like a big basket. Great, fun. Uh, you're from, you're originally from Ohio. Ohio. And, uh... Ohioans. We know it's so sad they're not from Ohio, those people. <laughs> they just enjoy states in America. Uh, <laughs> but you, uh, you, you started out from Ohio, and now you, you, you split your time between New York and L.A., is that New right? New York and L.A. I yeah. would think New York is a huge adjustment if you come from Ohio, is it? it, um, it, it very, very huge. In fact, when I first got here, also because I'm the youngest of three girls in a Greek family, and they're kind of overprotective, and... You don't know about big cities, and I kind of I got dressed up to go somewhere in the middle of the day at the beginning of I think I was here maybe two weeks, and I was going. What to part of town were you in? I was um, right around Forty Second Street. There was a lot of construction going on, and um, <laughs> I see where this is going. Attractive woman walking past a construction site in All New York City. All dressed up. Yeah, <laughs> which I shouldn't have been, and this one. Um, this guy was, uh, you know, they were like making noises and saying, hey, 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 and whatever. Ow! That kind of thing. Hey, baby. That, like that. Ow! Please, more. No. They never do that one. Well, yeah. he, was, he was going, hey, 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 like, hey, hey. And I was like, hey, you know, trying to stop him. He was backing up. And as he was backing up, the little hole, the, 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 the pot hole, the, you know. The, manhole? The manhole. He was backing thing. up towards a manhole? Yeah, but it was open and he fell backwards. And these guys, <laughs> and they were all laughing hysterically. And I was dying and trying to help him. And then I realized it might have been his thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Fall in the hole, the girl will come over, think something happened to you. and Also, but he was in the act of sort of 
being a creep, like bothering you. Totally you. So being a creep. in a way, God got him, right? There you Punished go. him. It was that was it. That's a nice moral. He was in the middle of being like, hey, it's like me, and then he falls. <laughs> right. I love that. That's good. That should happen it was more very often. Good. I think my dad had that like thing, that vibe of protecting me or something. Now you had uh, a baby since the last time you were here. Is yes, that right? Yes. Is I'm it a baby boy, baby girl? Baby girl. She's gonna be five months old on Monday. Oh, good for you. Yeah. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Is it? It must be hard because in show business, it's a long day. When you're shooting a show, do you bring the baby with you? Yeah, you baby comes to work with me every day. Actually, um, on Providence, I have a, a new love interest kind of thing happening. My therapist, he gets a little... Uh, his therapy is a little unethical. It kind of moves on into other, fun, other venues right. of therapy. Right. Yeah, and he... Um, of course, you meet somebody and it's like, Hi, I'm Alina. Hi, I'm Rob. Rob Estes is just playing the role. And, and then immediately you're kissing, you know, and it's just very odd. And then five minutes later, your daughter's on the set, she's crying, and I have to go nurse her. So it's, it's just such a romantic thing, you know? The poor guy's like, ah, your baby's there. There you go. <laughs> and you just feel like, oh, I'm so sorry. So you think it's messing with the actor's head a little bit, that he has to kiss you and then watch you... Yeah, there you go. Plunk, you know, you know it's... And, it's, and, and, and we're at Universal now, and we used to be at an old stage, a smaller stage, and those trams go by. And I, I got so comfortable at, like, walking out and not really... <laughs> there I was holding her at one point, and she had de you know, and I'm there and I'm completely, you know, exposing myself and the whole tram goes by and the woman's like, and over to our right is Providence. And I'm thinking, oh my God. And, and over freeze. there is the boob of Melina Kanakaridis. <laughs> over uh, here is Star Wars set. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, I bet you know. there were no complaints on that no, tram. they were all waving. I was like, hey. Hi, how are you? And what a friendly tour. <laughs> Other people will be disappointed. Hey, wait a minute. I heard this tour was... <laughs> I heard there was some action on this tour. What happened? Uh, well, the season premiere of Providence is tomorrow night yes. at 8 o'clock on NBC. Best of luck with that. Thanks for making time for us. Thank you. Great to have you on the show. Me. Melina Kanakaridis, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. That was cool. Thank you. Everybody, uh, that is our show of the night. We really want to apologize to Louis C.K. We ran out of time. We will have him back on the show very soon because he is a hilarious guy. We want to see Louis C.K. I do want to thank all my guests that we did have time for. Melina Kanakaridis, thank you so much for being here. Check out Providence tomorrow. And our thanks to Dana Carvey for making time for us and being so funny. Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg, seven stay tuned for later. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.